today we are going to find out a given number is a palindrome or not okay so palindrome so what are the palindrome numbers what are the plan we have madam string if we do reverse of this uh, this string then it will be madam only if we do reverse of nitin then reverse of nitin will be nitin only just like that if we do reverse of 121 so it will be 121 only if we do reverse of 22 then it will be 22 only if we do reverse of 1 it will be 1 only it we do reverse of 2 it will be 2 only so reverse of single digit number will be palindrome always and and uh, for two digit number and three digit number we, we have to check like palindrome uh, like 10 reverse of 10 will be 0 1 so it is not a palindrome number and like 21 and it will be 12 so it is not a palindrome number but uh, one eight, uh, 181 so if we do reverse of 181 then it will be 181 only so it is a palindrome number if we have 23 4 2 then if we reverse this number then we will have 2 2 4 3 2 so it is not a palindrome number because both numbers are different okay so now to check uh, uh, a given number is a palindrome or not first we need to find out the reverse of that given number okay cool so we will try for 121 how we can find out first we will try to find out reverse of 121 then we will check this number is a palindrome or not so how we can find out reverse of a given number for more details uh, you can check uh, uh, a link is given uh, in the descri uh, video description and uh, where you can find out uh, more details how you can uh, how you can find out uh, a reverse of a given number okay cool so first we will find out reverse of 121 so what we will do we will apply modulo operator then we will get 1 1 we will have 1 digit then we what we will do we will divide 121 with 10 so we will have 12 only and so so uh, we will save this one digit let's see line number five one digit in a reverse variable reverse equal to one initially reverse will be zero initially reverse will be 0 now it becomes 1 then what we will do we will apply modulo operator with 12 then we will get only 12 as a remainder and further we will divide 2 12 with 10 we will have 1 only and what we will do how we can find out reverse then we will use this formula reverse multiply by 10 plus 2 plus digit current digit so it will be uh, 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 reverse by 1 see line number 8 so 1 multiply by 10 plus current digit current digit is 2 see line number two, 10 so current digit is 2 so we will get 12 and we have one so we will apply modulo operator with one so we will have one digit and further we will divide one with ten so we will have zero and for reverse we will have uh, reverse multiply by 10 see line number 13 so earlier reverse was 12 so we will multiply with 10 plus current digit current digit is one so we will have 120 plus 1 so we got 121 so reverse is 121 and our right now we have a number as 1 only number is 0 see and number 17 number is 0 so right now we don't have 121 as a original number 
so how we can compare this reverse number so we need to save uh, this old given number c line number 3 into some another variable which is original number we can save this number into another variable so because here now uh, right now line number 18 we have number as we have number as 0 so we can't compare 0 with 121 so so we will we will save uh, this number into original number c line number 4 and now we will compare uh, original number and reverse number if both are same then the given number is a palindrome if 121 equal to 121 then it is a palindrome otherwise it is not a palindrome we will print okay cool now we are going to uh, write a program how to check the given number is a palindrome or not okay cool so to write a program first we will include our header file we will include our header file then we will have our main method then we will have method body and return type of this main method is integer so we will return zero so here we will have original number will be 121 and we will save we will save this original number into number also cool and initially we will have int reverse edge 0 0 and we will have digit also digit variable and we will apply while loop to find out reverse of a given number till number is greater than 0 okay cool so first we will find out reverse of this given number so first we will find out digit how we so we will apply modulo with given number so it will give us digit and then we will have this formula reverse equal to reverse previous reverse multiply 10 plus current digit okay then further we will divide given number with 10 okay so this is how we will get uh, our reverse number now we will check if reverse equal to equal to original number or not if it is uh, reverse is equal to number or original number then we will print yes it is yes it is palindrome yes it is palindrome means given number is a palindrome else if uh, both numbers are not equal then we will print it is not palindrome okay so we will apply some math with 121 so initially uh, initially digit will be 121 percentage 10 modulo operator then it we will have digit as 1 ok so we have we got our digit as 1 then we, we earlier reverse was 0 see line number 6 reverse was 0 so we will do 0 multiply by 10 plus current digit so current digit is 1 see line number 11 so we will have this thing this, so we will get reverse edge edge 1 only and at line number 13 we will have number edge uh, 121 divided by 10 so it will be 12 only so we will we'll again go to line number 10 we will see 12 is greater than 0 or not yeah it is 0 so condition is true then we will come to line number 11 then we will do 12 percentage 10 
so it will be 2 so digit will be 2 now uh, at line number 12 we will do reverse multiply by 10 then we will add digit so earlier reverse was 1 so we will multiply 1 with 10 then we will add current digit current digit is 2 so it will become 12 it will become 12 and at line number 13 we will divide uh, our number with 10 so number was 12 see here number was 12 so we will divide 12 with 10 so it will become 1 so further we will go to line number 10 and we will see 1 is greater than 0 or not so it is 0 it is greater than 0 so condition is true so we will come to line number 11 and we will find out modulo 1 so it will be 1 only remainder will be 1 and line number 12 we will multiply previous result uh, reverse with 10 and we will add current digit so previous image was 12 so we will multiply 12 with 10 and we will add our current digit current digit is 1 so we will have 120 plus 1 which is so it will it will become 121 so reverse become 121 and further we will divide our current number with 10 so current number is 1 so we will divide with 10 so we will get 0 so again we will go to line number 10 here so so 0 is greater than 0 so now condition is false so directly we will come to the line number 15 then 16 then we will check here uh, reverse is original number or not right now we have number as 0 so we can't compare this reverse number with number because number is 0 so we will compare reverse variable with original number so we will compare 121 equal to equal to 121 so it is true so it will print yes it is palindrome okay and this program and we will see the output okay so we will run this program and it is printing yes it is palindrome and now we will check for 12 so reverse of 12 will be 21 so this uh, it won't be a palindrome number so we will run and we will see not a palindrome see the output not a palindrome and we will try with 2 to 1 so reverse of this number will be 1 2 to 1 only so it is a palindrome see it is a palindrome and we will try with one digit number so reverse of one digit number will be one digit number so it will be palindrome number so we will run this program and see it is printing so this is a dynamic program uh, it will work with any given number okay upload uh, this program on the github uh, and see the uh, uh, github link into the video description okay